Hey everyone, it's me, Hannah, and I'm back with another video on video. So, previously on the sixth chapter, Aham was chasing Aladdin, Jasmine, and Abu on the magic carpet, and they tried to get away, but, but, the pouch with the yellow powder spilled and went all over the desert dunes and and the cat's eye be, became bejeweled and they look like emeralds. And I wonder why Ahem was walking toward them. Let's find out in the seventh chapter, shall we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <sighs> Chapter 7. Jasmine took a deep breath. We had to destroy the powder, ahem, she said in a firm, confident voice. We had no choice. It was, it was too dangerous to keep within the walls of Erba. Uh, Aham bowed her, Aham bowed before her. Thank you, princess, he, he said. When he looked up, his eyes were full of gratitude. I, I agree completely. Jasmine and Aladdin exchanged a look of relief. I was afraid that you didn't know what the powder could do. Ahem continued, when I saw you flying away from the orchard, I knew that I had, I knew that I had to warn you at once. So that's why you were following us, Aladdin said. I am, I am so grateful that you have succeeded where I failed. Out there, the, pin, the powder cannot harm our crops or water, Aham told Jasmine in Aladdin. Jasmine, Jasmine nodded, and now this beautiful cactus will be a delight for everyone who comes across it in their travels. And it's so sturdy, the greedy thieves, that greedy thieves won't even, won't even be able to take the emeralds. But, Aladdin began, and they could take the, the jeweled fruit in the orchard if they see what it looks like right now. Jasmine closed her eyes as she imagined. Jasmine closed her eyes and she imagined what might happen. Some people in Arabath might be so eager to take the jewels that they would pick every bejeweled apple, mango, pomegranate, persimmon, and grape. And, and grape. The orchard would be bare and ruined. We have, we have to get back as soon as we can, Jasmine thought. Then she turned to Ham. She had ch then she turned to Amand. But where did the powder come from? She asked. For a moment, Ahem looked a little embarrassed. Then he started rumping, rummaging around his vest pocket. A few days a few days ago I was watering 
one of the oldest apple trees. He began as I shovel as I shoveled some dirt aside. My shovel struck something hard. I dug around the soil and found this: a ham-handed jasmine, a silver bo- a small silver box. Sorry, that was studded with jewels. Inside the box, Jasmine found a scroll of parchment paper. It was yellow with age, and and its edge and its edges were tattered. The scroll looked very, very old. Jasmine unfurled the scroll. Her brow furrowed as she reads, as she read the words written on it. One part hot as the fire pepper, one part bitter as the pomegranate seed, one part sharp as the thorn bush. It looked like some sort of recipe, Jasmine finally said. But it says nothing about what it actually does. I'm very, ki- I grew very curious, Princess. Ahem, admitted. So I decided to make the recipe myself, just for fun. I was very surprised. I was very surprised. When those ingredients transformed into a, the yellow powder, what made you? What made you decide to test it on the orchard? What made you decide to test it on the orchard? Asked Aladdin. Sorry. No, no, I never wanted that to happen. Aham exclaimed. You see, as I finished mixing the ingredients. A high wind began. He continued. I tried to cover the pot as quickly as I could, but it was too late. The wind had already scattered the powder throughout the orchard. The orchard. I remember the wind. I remember that windstorm. Jasmine replied. It knocked several tiles off the wi- it knocked several tiles off the palace roof. Oh, princess! Oh, oh, princess! I could hardly believe my eyes. Ahem said, "I ran from tree to tree in disbelief. Each one had been transformed into a tree of jewels." It was a beautiful sight, but I had no idea how to reverse the spell. Jasmine nodded. Simply, Jasmine nodded. Simply Pascal. Jasmine nodded. Simply, simply, sympathetically. Sorry. Come, we will all go back to the orchard and find a way to undo the spell. Jasmine. Jasmine, Aladdin, Ahem, and Abu quickly hopped on. Quickly hop onto the flying carpets. The carpets lifted up into the air, soaring through the brilliant blue sky. On the way back to Arabah, where the palace towers finally appear, Jasmine sighed. Breath. Jasmine breathed a sigh of relief. A sigh of relief. But she knew there was work to be done. Aladdin glanced at Jasmine. "You look like you have a plan," he said quietly. Jasmine shook her head. "Not yet," she whispered back. "But I'm going to come up with one." What was Princess Jasmine's plan? And, well, we all find out in the eighth chapter. So stay tuned of what's going to happen next. That's all for now. Good night, everybody.